Uh, this video uh, talks about the uh, types of the armature winding actually we have uh, uh, seen that uh, there are two types of armature winding lab winding and web winding now this lab winding and web winding is based on the on end connections to the commutator now if you further want to classify uh, this uh, lab and the web winding okay uh, if you further want to classify this lab and web uh, lab and web winding so we can classify based on the multiplexity multi okay uh, city and the layers okay based on the uh, now this multiplexity we can also have uh, in the form of web winding and the lab winding these layers of winding we can also have in both lab and web winding now in this video i'm going to talk about the multiplex winding so when you say about the multiplex winding one we have simplex and then we have duplex triplex and okay multiplex and it's represented by the m now if you if uh, if you uh, want to understand about that simplex winding now the in this case it's the based on the okay, connection okay like uh, to the uh, now if you're talking about the lab winding it starts from one and then ends at two and again it starts uh, the next connection starts from uh, two and then ends at three and again it it goes on something like that and then at the end uh, it should reach to the one because it should complete uh, one round and then in this case your commutator okay that uh, your commutator uh, pitch is okay yc is equal to one which means uh, your uh, that the successive commutators are starting from one two three four and it goes on now when it comes to the duplex okay when it comes to the duplex there are uh, okay uh, two different windings taking place okay first one is like if it starts from one and then it should end at three and then from three again that same winding is going and end, ends at five and again from five it's end at seven again from seven it goes on nine and then it should end at one or it should close the uh, i mean it should end at one and then the second conductor second conductor it starts at two and ends at four and again Mm. for second conductor it starts at two ends at four and then again it starts from four and then ends at six and again it starts from six and then ends at eight again it starts from eight and ends at ten and then at the end it should okay ends at here so this is called the duplex and in case of the duplex your commutator okay the uh, the is like the commutator should be something like one uh, three then okay uh, five seven nine and at the end it should come to one for the first conductor and for the second conductor it should start at two four six uh eight and at the end it should close at uh at two and then for the for the triplex okay if you're talking about the uh, triplex uh, then your commutator should start at there should be three uh conductors first conductor should start at one then ends at four again then four and seven and then ten thirteen and so on and then second conductor should start at two then five then eight then eleven 
then 14 and so on and at the end it should end at 1 and at 2 and the third conductor should start at uh, 3 and 6 9 um, then we have uh, 12 15 and at the end it should come at 3 so this is how uh, we are uh, doing the winding uh, depending upon the uh, multiplex city and then for the uh, for the uh, duplex uh, you know that uh, your uh, commutator pitch is equal to plus or minus 2 and for the triplex yc is equal to plus or minus 3 and for the multiplex yc is equal to plus or minus m so if uh, uh, that uh, the the meaning of the commutator pitch is the distance uh, between the uh, uh, commutator that between the two uh, commutators where that successive wires are connected okay for example if you're talking about the duplex uh, winding so you have this one is measured with that three so that one is three minus one so we get two this is how we are uh, measuring uh, for the uh, commutator pitch okay uh, that's it uh, about the